welcome back to my channel, welcome to the Sunday car boot sale haul. It has gone a lot chillier. I don't know what the weather was when I went out this morning, but it definitely dropped while we were at the car boot sale. So I think it's currently, according to my phone, nine degrees, but I'm pretty sure it dropped to about five while I was out. So it's been a bit of a shock when it dropped today. Anyway, small haul. Um, really is quite a small haul today. Let's pick this up first. This is a off to a flying start. This is a Boots number no. seven illuminating mirror. Whether or not it will illuminate, I do not know. I have one of these myself, which I really like. It's a very good mirror, but mine gave up illuminating a long time ago, and eventually I cut the plug off. Um, let's plug it in and find out. It does work. Can you guys see that it lit up? It did light up. Where's the on off switch? Hang on. There you go. Hooray, right, it works. This was. There are several, several house clearance guys at ours. One of them is usually reasonable with prices. One of them is dirt cheap with his prices. And one of them is usually a bit, a bit high. This was the little bit high guy. And when I picked it up, he said five. And I went, okay, and went to put it down. He went three. So I paid three for it. Very pleased with it for three pound. I think I can probably sell it for 15 to 20. So I'm okay with it for three. I could keep it and replace mine that doesn't illuminate. But since I've got by this long without mine lighting up, I'm sure I'll be okay to carry on. I paid 50p for this Disney. I'm not sure if it's a Primark Disney or a... It might be a Primark Disney, but it's a Feeling Wicked and it's got all of the Disney villains on the front. So what have we got there? We've got Maleficent, who wasn't really a villain at all, was she? Um, the Evil Queen from Snow White. We've got Cruella and we've got the one from Ariel and Ursula. Ursula from Ariel on there. So quite a nice cut. 50p for that. And from the same lady... 50p for this packet of they're plastic on the front, foil on the back, and I got those for Tammy for something she's working on at the moment. I think they'll be useful for her. So 50p for those. Everything has got raindrops on it. It was raining today. £1.50 for three hair conditioners. And from the other house clearance guy, you stay there, don't fall. These Denby saucers. He did not have the cups, sadly. I'm not sure what Denver. Oh, there's coffee on that one. I'm not sure what Denby colour range they are, but they are Denver. The reason I bought them, there's one, two, three, four, there's eight of them. And I picked them up and was looking around all of his other boxes thinking the mugs might be there. And he went, I haven't got the cups. And I went, oh, okay, never mind. I went to put them down. He went, pound for the saucers. And I thought, Denby, spares and replacements, is probably worth paying a quid for eight. I'll probably, sell, I'll probably get a profit on them. But they'll need washing because they've all got coffee on them. <laughs> I pay, let's get you out of the way because you're determined to fall. I paid £5 for this dog bed. This is for Buddy. We picked this up because it's such a nice, cosy shape. He likes a wall around him. He can get in there and snuggle down, but we're not actually sure where we're going to put it because he's got a new one for the top of the stairs. It might go in the front room for him and see because he doesn't like his front room one. He used to until Molly started sitting in it. She's not allowed to sit in it. She knows she's not allowed to, but that doesn't stop her being an absolute cow. And now Buddy doesn't like his bed because it doesn't smell like his, so maybe he'll like a new one. That's the idea behind that. Did I say it was a fiver? It was a fiver. There were, I was sure there were five of these cards and now I only seem to have four, so I don't know where the other one's gone. Um, they are just greetings cards and the other day I discovered I didn't have any handy greetings cards. They've all got dogs and camper vans on them. They're the Hannah Cole collection called Watching the Goals. And I think I paid £1.50 for five, but where the fifth one has gone, who knows? These cars were 50p each. They are the early learning centre cars that magnetically attach to each other. You can only do a certain number though before, you know, before the magnet star can't cope with that. That's how many. <laughs> I have six today and I've got a feeling I bought some a couple of weeks ago. So when I get into the death pile and sort out what's in there, I'm going to see if I've got enough to do a bundle. Last time I did a bundle, I think I had about 12 or 15 in the bundle. Buddy, bud, buddy. Come and look, what's this? Come here. So deaf, so deaf. He didn't find that. I paid a pound for these fairy lights. They are little brass elephants. These are for me. And they are little brass elephants and, the, and with stars cut out and they light up inside. I thought they were nice for a quid. And I paid a pound for this chinoiserie inlaid jewellery box. The reason I got it for a quid is because it needs a repair on the inside hinge. This hinge isn't attached. 
but it's unusual in that the music works. I've got one that was my grand's, it's, so it's very, very old. It belonged to my grand, and the music hasn't worked for years on mine. So I'm going to have to get some tiny screws. There's one tiny screw in there, but sorry over the music. One tiny screw, but I need three. <laughs> um, and see if I can repair it. It's definitely worth a pound, definitely. I paid two pounds for this really nice Kath Kiston bag. This is the kind that goes on the side of the pushchair. So it has these straps on the side here. It goes on the handle of the pushchair, sorry. These straps on the side so that you can put it over your pushchair or pram handle. Um, so it is a changing bag, but also it would easily convert to a lady's bag because it does have the ordinary handles as well. So make a very nice shopper's bag. And she wanted two quid for that and it's in very nice condition. So, um, and it comes with some free Panty liners and paracetamol, I think. <laughs> yeah, paracetamol and panty liners. We won't be keeping those. They're, they're new panty liners, I should add. They're not used. They're just new ones in their package. And then I think this front bit, yeah, this front pocket zips off so that you can use that as a wet bag for soiled stuff from your child or whatever. So I thought that was good for two quid. I was pleased with that. This one, this lady looked a bit... Possibly more upper class than me. Not, not, not that that's hard. You don't have to do. You don't have to go far to be further upper class than me. But you know, she looked like she perhaps was a little bit more a lady of means, and all her stuff seemed very nice quality. And I picked this bag up. It's a suede bag, and I was looking at it. And the brand is Abro. And I've bought a lot of bought and sold a lot of handbags in my time, but I've not come across Abro before. But I was feeling the bag, and I thought this feels like very nice quality. I want, I'm wondering if this is a, a good brand. And she said, oh, it is a real one, which made me think, well, OK, if the fact that she's even bothered to say the words it is a real one must mean that it's a good brand, you know, because nobody goes, oh, that Primark one, that's a real one. <laughs> and so I said, how much? She said eight. And I said, would you do six? And she said yes. So I got it for six. It does have no long strap. I think it should have a long strap that's missing. But it's a nice bag. And I've had a look at the prices and they do seem to be a nice, a nice range, a nice, you know, quite pricey range. So it's a very nice slouchy, slouchy suede bag pleased with that. I've said pleased with that about everything. I'm always pleased with things. I'm easily pleased. And then this was from Steve. This is my fair bag plus one Denby mug. So the Denby mug was two pounds, I think. No, I tell a lie. I paid Steve eight pounds altogether. The dog bed was from Steve. That was a fiver. The filler bag was three and they chucked the, chuck the mug in for nothing. So I got a free Denby mug. This is the apple from the collection of fruit range. And then this is the filler bag. I got a Sophie la Giraffe. Her squeaks. Oh, she does squeak a bit. I got a pack of swim pants. These are quite expensive when you buy them, so I chucked them in because they're not very useful. Not for me, obviously. Baby swim pants. This is a Kate Spade mug. I didn't even know Kate Spade did mugs. She does handbags, doesn't she? And organises and things. Apparently, Kate Spade also do mugs. So this is the Collins Stripe. Let me have a quick search. She does a range that say to eat cake for breakfast. So I already like Kate Spade. Yep, whole whole load of, of mugs. Can I find this one? No, there's no Collins Stripe one listed or sold. But yeah, who knew? Who knew that Kate Spade mugs were a thing? People out there going, I knew. I didn't know. Some of you knew, I'm sure. Also in the filler bag, I've got the very hungry, hungry caterpillar plate. Last week I picked up the cup and the bowl, I think, and um, and today I found the plate that goes with. So presumably it was it was there last week. I didn't notice it. Also last week I picked up a tractor head cup, and this week I found the plate that goes with that. I've already listed the cup, so I will take that listing down, change it, and add the plate to it, and sell the two together. And one of you guys messaged me this morning about the very hungry caterpillar stuff, so now I've got a plate as well. I've got a Jane Brookshaw Dunoon Sheeple's mug, but I didn't realise how badly chipped it is. I mean, it's only filler bag, so I chucked it in anyway, but it's really badly chipped. It's got four nibbles around the rim, so that's probably not going to be worth listing. Unless any of you want a sheeple's mug for keeping pens and things in or something like that. Silicon. I got one, two, three silicon shapes today. So we've got dolphins, stars and Christmas trees. I got a roll of brown paper because I'm a reseller and brown paper will be useful and why not when it's filler bag. I got a pair of Build-A-Bear shoes and I think there might be something else in there. Hang on. Let's have a rummage. 
that's a whole outfit, I think. Build a bear shoes, t shirt, and shorts. So it is a whole build a bear outfit. I picked up this because I thought this was uh, very apt for our house. It says, Home is where the dog hair sticks to everything but the dog. So that can go up in my hallway gallery. I picked a pack of the original Milestone Baby cards. I've sold these before. They don't go for much, but why wouldn't you pick them up if they're there, you know? We're nearly done. It is nearly the end of the haul. This is a Paragon needle Needlecraft Exquisite Hummel Stitchery, inspired by the enchanting paintings by Sister Berta Hummel, which have cap captured the hearts of young and old around the world. Creative, cruel stitchery. This kit contains all the materials needed to finish this bell pull. Who has a bell pull in 2023? Including yarn for tassel and hardware for hanging. Now, it doesn't contain all of that anymore. Most of the bits are gone. It, I think all I've got here is the very basic design and canvas. My god, my brain shut down. But it is a nice thing and it may be of interest to somebody even though the threads are missing. It's a nice vintage item. And then last and least, hammer beads. It's not even full, it's half a box of hammer beads. But as I've said to you guys before, when I buy hammer beads, I buy the little plates and save them up until I've got enough for a bundle, then I sell it as a bundle. So there we go, now I've got some beads to go in a bundle. That's it, that's the haul and all of the haul. Nothing to write home about, but I'm pleased with my Kath Kirsten bag. I'm pleased with this Abra, Abro bag. And it gets me out of the house, keeps me off the streets. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. I'll see you next week. Take care. Bye for now.